All right, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Chilling with Nelly. You are officially chilling with me, where you are gonna get the perfect dose of realty and reality every time. So this video, as you guys can tell, is um knowing when to reset and restart things. Um, for this video, you're gonna see me looking down at my notes because I did do some content creating with someone that I extremely, extremely, extremely trust. Um, she's like the smartest person I know. She's like the realest person like you'll ever meet in your entire life. And if you've ever had the pleasure or opportunity of talking to her, she's like just an amazing person. Her name is Patrice Devereaux. She, um, she's been my friend since I was 16 years old. She is like smart, she's funny she's so real like she is just amazing but i said that to say that i did talk to her so a lot of the stuff that um i'm gonna reference or if i look down at this paper it's because i did talk to her um and she gave me some very very good feedback so the basic concept to this video and what life lesson i wanted to put out there is that sometimes in life we get complacent we get content, we get, oh, it's okay, it's not perfect, but it's not, it could be worse type situations. And, excuse me, and we try to make those situations work. We try to make those situations um, prosper. And the one thing that I've learned in life is that God is going to remove you from a situation willingly or unwillingly. And, it, you know, people say that it's insanity when you do the same thing over and over again, but you get the same response. But a lot of people are stuck in doing the same thing over and over again and getting a different response, but it's a negative response. Whether it's, you know, putting yourself in situations you know you shouldn't have been in, things happening. It's like, always, oh, it's always something happening. It's always something. And we've all been there at, at a point or another in our lives where it's just like, damn, it's just always something. Like, it's just something after one, after the other, after the other. And that's because God is trying to teach you something and you're just not learning that lesson. And so, the one thing that my sister said to me that stuck with me because I heard it, um, I heard it at church too, so it, it really, really stuck to me, was when she said, you, you can't, if you don't have a full cup, you can't pour onto somebody else. And see, a lot of times with people, we get so, so busy trying to just help other people and help, you know, be there for other people and be a good friend and be a good daughter, be a good son, you know, be a good dad, be a good mom. And you got to be the best you that you can be. And sometimes that requires you to step back from your situation and say, you know what, this is not working for me. I have to redo this. So in my situation to bring that to a real life perspective, um, I was not in the best living situation. It was a lot of drama. It was a lot of stuff going on. Um, and what I learned is that don't wait for something bad, like really, really bad to happen. Because like a, a lot of bad stuff can happen. And then you, all, you always have that one major thing that just brings everything to a head. But if you catch it before it gets there, it doesn't have to get there. So I was going through a lot of bad situations and then I, I I ended up having a situation that was about to happen and I'm like, you know what, before I allow this to come to a head and before I allow this volcano to erupt, let me remove myself. I literally called my sister and with no hesitation, she said, okay, come on. She sent the address, I packed up my car and I left. And it was honestly the best decision I had ever made in my life. Not just for me, but for my children. Um, it's been amazing being here. Like I said, I've gotten more done in a week and a half than I got done in a year. So it's been amazing being here. And then I needed that restart. I needed to be away from toxic people, away from toxic situations, away from myself. I needed time to for myself just to sit back and think like, this could have went really bad. Like this could have went really wrong. And, you know, I have to thank God that things didn't end up as bad as they could have. 
but I also have to reevaluate and reassess myself because what is it about me that keeps getting me into these positions and keep getting me into these situations? A lot of my issue is just not wanting to listen to people, thinking that I got it all figured out and thinking that I got the world figured out and I don't. And I have to really take advice. And every day since I've been here, I've had to call my sister and be like, well, this happened today, so you were right. Well, this happened today, you were right. And she was like, I've been told you this though, Nell. Like, you should have just listened. Like, you, you could have, none of this ever had to happen if I would have listened. And she's so right. So if you don't take anything from this video, just take that it's okay to restart. It's okay to revamp. It's okay to say, you know what? This isn't working for me. And it may hurt some people's feelings and it may piss some people off. Because I'm sure, you know, people got, oh, well, I'm not sure. I know people got mad that I left. You know, people were upset that I took my kids away from the situation. And, you know, people want to have an opinion about my kids, about this and about that. But I don't care. And another thing my sister said is, like, when you are really tired of a situation, you're really done with the situation, like, you will walk away. Like, you, when you're done, and, like, people, I've always heard that my whole life, like, when you're done, you're done. Like, even in relationships, when you're tired when you sick and tired of being sick and tired, you'll make a change. When you're done, you'll make a change. Like, it's, it's all up to you. But only you can make a difference. It doesn't matter how many times I tell you. It doesn't matter how many times your pastor tell you, your friend tell you, anything. When you're ready to make a change, you'll make a change. And that's very valid. Like, my sister had been telling me for years to do stuff differently and to come down here and get my life together and stop doing this and stop doing that. And I didn't listen. And when I got tired of hitting that wall and I got tired of shit ending up the way they did, here I am. So that's a, that's another key point. And then a lot of things that people have, you have to understand is that a lot of people that you're friends with, you know, in your 20s are not going to make it to your 30s. People that you just know, like I'm down, I'm these people down bad for me. Like these, these my riders, these my homies, these my partner them. All that stuff. Then people ain't gonna make it into your thirties because God got a God has a divine plan for your life, and either you're gonna be on board with that or you're gonna self destruct. And one way or another, God is gonna wean these people out. Like one way, if they're not meant to be there, they're not gonna be there. It doesn't matter how much you help them, how much you try to say, but that's my friend. They can change. If God don't want them in your life, they're not gonna be in your life. Um. I think a lot of the times, like, when you reset, you're good. <laughs> That's my sister's husband. <laughs> um, but a lot of times when you think about life, you have to think about um, your past, things that are important to you. You can't make your decisions based off your friends. And see, that's where um, a lot of my issues came into. I just knew this people was my friends. This was my, my homie. This was my partner. Like, they're kids. And I'm pouring and pouring and pouring onto this person. But nobody's pouring into me. Like, I'm, I'm giving all that I have. And see, like, when you, you're supposed to pour into others... But you're not supposed to deplete yourself. You're not if you can't pour into yourself. If you don't have anything, and like that's just like this cup. If I don't have anything in this cup to drink, I'm not gonna have anything to drink. So how can I give you something to drink if there's nothing in this cup? That's just like it is in, with with your with your life and with your your spiritual world and with with you. How can I give you something I cannot give to myself? So take that with you as you go into this world and as always i ha can be contacted at all my contact information is below i can be contacted via instagram snapchat and facebook the channel does now have its own facebook page so if you would like please head over to facebook and look up chilling with nelly it does have its own page where we can interact with each other you can talk to me i can talk to you or you can email me on my own facebook page which is nelly thomas i can be reached on snapchat at burgo beauty 23 and then my Instagram is IZSOPHI, which is I-Z-S-O-P-H-I. So again, thank you guys for chilling with me, where you get the perfect dose of reality and real tea every time.